Patients who have undergone tracheostomies have a complication rate of about 47% during the initial hospitalization. Common complications include obstruction, bleeding, infection, and accidental decannulation. If you encounter one of these situations, what should you do? First, if there is time, the following information is important. How long ago the tracheostomy was placed, indication for placement and type, whether it was surgical or percutaneous. Determine if the patient has a patent upper airway that allows for mass ventilation and intubation and the potential for difficult airway if oral intubation is indicated. If the patient can breathe around a deflated tracheostomy cuff, you can try to place an oxygen mask over the patient's mouth or over the patient's stoma as the patient could be breathing through either location. Stay tuned for part two of this series where we will discuss the next steps in the management of a patient with a malfunctioning tracheostomy. As always, you can go to the June 2025 APSF newsletter for more details regarding management.